What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I am back with another video, guys. If you if you haven't checked out my last video, uh, proof that Sony will not be making the PlayStation 5, the link will be down below. Check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it. Come with Next Gen on this journey. Um, this is some, like I said, been a lot of articles. Like I said, your boy has been really, 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 really busy, and at the end of the year, I'm going to have a special video for you guys. The haters are going to hate it. Those who fuck with me are going to love it. Um, for those who don't know, I had a, a fire. I had destroyed, you know, my home. That's where you see me in this new place here. And I lost a lot of things that were near and dear to me. Now, with that being said, hey, man, I'm blessed. I can't cry with spilled milk and cookies, man. Keep it moving, huh, man? But on to today's video. Um... DirectX 12. I, again, again, and again, and again. Check me. For those who've been rocking out with your boy since day one, I did a video where it was just rumored, and I heard, you know what I mean? I, I have a friend of mine that works at Game Informer that I met here. Shut up, you know who you are, that I met here doing videos. I, I, I know three people, you know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. Um, and I first got him and I did a video and people slammed me. Uh, you're stupid. You can't change the hardware. Direct X12. And I had Icy Rhythm saying all types of dumb shit about me. I'm stupid. I'm not a PC. I, and where's this big thing that you have to be, uh, to be, to play video games on PC, you have to be uber duper 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 smart. Fucking download Steam and that's it. If you have to go somewhere, to a site to download a file and patch it, run like that's not like I don't want PC gamers made like it's so technical to run guys play games on PC because it's not. But anyhow, um, did a video, then it came out, you know, that Direct X12 was indeed coming to the Xbox One. If you guys don't know, why do you think the console is called Xbox Direct X Box? That was going to be the original name of the original Xbox, but it's a Microsoft property. Here it is. They're making a new system, a new console, direct, uh, Xbox One, and they have a new um, API, or whatever the case, that was going to be out the following year. You don't think they, they were making this direct X12 with their system in mind? Why do you think they call the system Xbox One? Everything that Microsoft is doing... Windows 8, you have that now, Xbox One. Windows 10, there's no secret now. We know that's Cortana. All the forms of that shit, the cloud, all that shit there in one box. That's why the name is Xbox One. One machine, one-stop shop for everything. So, things are coming out. Uh, there's several, several developers in the media who have said that, and which have also said, the Xbox One, it's a has an eight-core processor. Two of the cores are dedicated. One is for the OS, one is for the Kinect, and six for games. A lot of your initial launch game were running on one core, two cores. It is what it is. You know, as dev kits and SDKs get better, you know, optimization, you know, you get to utilize the, all the cores and make the games look better. Prime example, Halo 4, you see how that looked on the Xbox 360? Perfect dark, night and day. You understand what I'm saying? This in layman, not going to get too technical mumbo jumbo. But what I've always said that Direct X12, we know that it's going to be a big, you know, a big game for the PC and you know, whatever the case. But to be honest with you, the Xbox One and the PS4 are like PCs. Is that they're just a closed environment? They don't both use x86. Why do you think that you have to install your games before you play them? Let's think about it. You know, I'm not claiming. Again, I'm not claiming to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. We're gonna keep it simple here. But I damn sure ain't the, the dullest. I can cut a steak, all right? So, uh, but I've always said in the past that, again, we know we've been rocking out with your boy since day one. Look at some of the videos about the record. I said with the record X12, you're going to, you know, be able to split, split the workload up evenly between the six cores. That's going to free up other resources, take less strain off the CPU and GPU, better frames and all that stuff like that. We, well, we gotta realize we are talking about consoles. So even if the Rec X12 makes the Xbox One 25 or 30% more efficient, 
that's huge. We're talking about a console. You understand what I'm saying? It's a closed environment. You know, you know the reason why, you know, PCs, you may have this big, powerful GPU, but Windows is in, you know, Linux, whatever, is such a resource hole. You know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. We're not even going to talk about that. But, you know, a prime, a prime example, I believe like this. You can have the GPU that's in the Xbox One and the same GPU. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. I selected. Yeah, you can well, yeah, you can have the same GPU that's in the PS4 and the same GPU that's in the PS in the I'm sorry, in the PC. The PS4 will be much more powerful. <laughs> because like I said, it's a closed environment. They don't have to do all the other extra stuff that a PC has to do. Make sense? Okay. Back onto the day's video. So it's been several developers that came out. And spoke and said that DirectX 12 was going to be a big thing for the Xbox One or whatever because the, uh, the, 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 uh, the curator of the division, I forget the guy's name, French guy, like the head guy there, he said, you know, you can have double the frame rates and all types of being huge games. Then you had some people come out and slam it that are, you know, that they're, of course, you had some people from like Naughty Dog or whoever the hell that that's not even working with Direct. That doesn't, you know, that doesn't have access to the tech or anything. Say, no, nah, I don't believe it. it's hogwash, yada, 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 yada. I'm going to take you guys back to something that Aaron Greenberg said. And when it was all coming out behind, how much more powerful, the, we all know now that's not true, but how much more powerful the PS4 was than the Xbox. And uh, Aaron Greenberg, they said it was a 50%, you know, yada, yada, yada. Aaron Greenberg said, why the hell? Well, he didn't say hell, excuse my French. He said, why would we give our biggest competitor... A 30% advantage. So there are things not known yet about our system that I can't talk about, but pretty soon you guys will see. Just think about that. I guess I never really paid Microsoft be liar. They've always been up front and honest with everything, whether it's been the DRM or whatever the fuck, they always have been up front and honest about it. That's why I like Microsoft. Sony, you know, they do the bait and switch with the smoke and mirrors, but I'm not here. This video is not to slam Sony. It needs to say, but let's read this here. It says, Microsoft DirectX 12 API is set to be available with Windows 10, according to Startup. The studio CEO, Brad Waddell, is said to be the first version of DirectX that uses multiple cores effectively. Wow. Didn't I say that? What haven't I been saying that shit since day one? That basically is going to split the workload up between the cores? You don't think that's going to help out the Xbox One? Of course, Phil Smith, I mean, Phil Smith is going to downplay it. Like, this is, come on, they got this big event coming on. We don't want to, you know, hey, you never let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Of course it is. But I repeat this again. Now, these are not my words. It's the CEO from Microsoft. He said here for Windows, he says, that is to be the first version of DirectX that uses multiple cores effectively. In addition, this new Microsoft API can do some pretty interesting things to become more efficient and able significant increases in graphics performance. DirectX 12 is able to split the process. Uh oh, read this again. DirectX 12 is able to split the process across multiple cores, much more efficiently, unlike DirectX 11, and increase. I'm sorry, and achieve much greater efficiency, reducing the time it takes to render a frame. Boom. Okay, so. You understand what I'm saying? I've been, if you guys if you know me, go back to some of my older videos. I've been saying this shit since day one. When, you know, I see rhythms and all those guys said I was stupid. And again, let me say, I tell you guys, believe nothing in what you hear and half of what you see. Just because I talk some time with a bunch of four little words doesn't mean I can't express myself. You guys know what the CEO for two years? Do you guys even know that? No, you don't. You know what I mean? Like, again, like, you know, I, I don't talk about it, but. I, I this dick's misconception that I can't read, write, or spell. Now, sometimes, your boy, I do type a little fast, and, and when I do my um, um, titles on video, sometimes I use my tablet or my phone because I have I have them there skewed on my Mac, and I upload them. I only have to be home. They can, you know, I have, but that's neither here or there. And sometimes, you know, you know, just touch, you know, I, you know, I may edit my video from my phone or my other phone or you understand what I'm saying and even the whole collapse thing which I didn't even spell John Doe upload because I don't have Sony Vegas I have a Mac and John Doe edited the video for me and I told him what I wanted to do I wasn't even home shout out to John Doe and he uploaded the video for me um, if you can look at the video when you look at the video the buyers and fall of a pony is done on a PC I don't have Sony Vegas I have a Mac 
but you know they came under that case. You know, it's all fun, jokes and giggles. But anyway, back to what I was saying. But the big thing here is says that how goes on to say the development of with DirectX 12 using a modern CPU and GPU com combo can achieve graphic production of CGI movies. Remember that when they were saying that the Xbox One and stuff may be able to achieve Avatar type like graphics? Do you remember hearing that a couple years ago? Do you remember that? They're saying that the next Xbox will be able to achieve Gravatar type like graphics because of, uh, you know, not they didn't say because of Direct X, but that's what they were saying. That, you know, the new Xbox. Now, again, I'm not saying this is true, but if you guys don't think that Direct X 12 and Windows 10 and only the API is not going to be huge for the Xbox One, that's why I told you guys. Listen to what the developer said in old one. He said, just because the PS4 may be have, you know, be more powerful than the Xbox One now, it may not always be the case. There are still NPDs inside the Xbox One non-disclosure agreements. I bullshit you not. But again, now am I do I'm not saying the Xbox One will give you the power of five Titans. It's a $350 console. Get it. But if you look at the Xbox One, think about it like this, and then I'm going to leave it alone. It costs Sony $400 million, $450 so to make, develop their PlayStation 4. If for the BP or GPU, which is in the Xbox One, both the GDR5 I and mean, it's cost Microsoft um, upwards of a billion dollars they gave AMD. Think about that. And everything in the Xbox One is custom. Everything. The PlayStation 4, they're using off-the-shelf parts. When it comes to these next generation engines, mark my word again, the I promise you, and I would take any YouTuber, we can bet $100 that the Xbox One will run these next generation engines much better, more efficient than the PlayStation 4. Better frame rates and maybe even a higher resolution. This is your boy, Next Gen 720. I'll leave the link down below. And like I said, I hate to be the X bot to say I told you so, but I told you so. Na 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 boo boo, na 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 boo boo. To achieve CGI type graphics. Do you guys remember the article when they were saying the next Xbox will be able to give, deliver Avatar type graphics? And when they, when they, when they, when they, when they got the PS4 and the Xbox One, they be like, oh, come on, these systems, how the hell are These motherfuckers are anemic. If Direct X 12 is all what they're saying to be, and you can get CGI type graphics, Mm, mm mm How you say? Checkmate, Sony. And so now this probably won't affect multiplex that much, but Microsoft exclusives, Gears of War, Halo 5, and all those games going forth are going to be here. Now multiplex, well, that's about the same. But Microsoft exclusives, forget about it. It's your boy next gen 720. Twitch your thinkers up.